Welcome back to GearWire.com. I'm Owen O'Malley, and this uh, sparkly little box right here is the MXR M82 base envelope filter. And uh, that's exactly what it is. It's an envelope filter specifically tailored for bass. Right now we are playing uh, an American Standard P bass through an Avalon M5 preamp. Uh, this little box right here, it's a compact little box, but it gets a pretty awesome thick envelope filter sound. And uh, it has quite a few controls for being such a tiny sized pedal. So let's turn our effect uh, on. Now we've got, a, uh, instead of a dry effects mix, we have two separate controls. We can control the sort of direct or dry signal separately from the affected signal. So let's just listen to our dry signal. If you really wanted to, you could use this as a clean boost pedal. Of course, I don't know why you'd want to do that for bass, but who am I to judge? Let's turn that off and bring our effect up. Now, if that sounds a little thin to your ears, that's why you dial in the dry a little bit. We've got a decay control, and that uh, sort of self-explanatorily controls the decay of the triggered envelope sweep. So if we bring the decay all the way down, you get a very fast sweep uh, once your note sort of starts to decay. And that's good for real quick staccato packages, uh, passages like I just played. It's also good for uh, maybe some slap stuff. If we have a long decay, obviously these notes that are really close together are not going to trigger an individual filter sweep each because the filter sweep from the previous note has not yet sort of gone down or decayed. It's super long. So let's bring it back down here. Our next control is our Q control. Now this controls the width and height of the peak, uh, of the peak filter sweep. So this is in essence the intensity of your effect. We've got our sort of volume level of the effect here, and this is the intensity. If we bring the Q down to here, Let's actually take our dry signal out of here so you can more easily hear the difference. Definitely still a prominent present effect. Now it's even more prominent if we bring it all the way up. You get some really sort of potentially speaker blowing resonances there. Super narrow, super high peak frequencies when you have the Q control all the way up. Your sensitivity you can use to adjust to the differing output levels of different bases, you know, uh, active or passive bases. Um, but you can also use it to uh, sort of uh, tailor the trigger threshold uh, to different playing styles. So if, if you've got a really light touch, you want to bring the sensitivity up a little bit. And if you want to play a little slap and have sort of a similar response, you want to turn the sensitivity down a little bit. There isn't really a range control on this pedal. Uh, there are sort of filter sweep range controls on some 
envelope filter pedals. You basically control the range sweep with a combination of the sensitivity control uh, and your playing dynamics. The MXR M82 bass envelope filter retails for about 150 bucks from most musical instrument outlets. Uh, it is a compact little pedal. It's a tiny little guy. It'll fit snugly onto even the most crowded pedal board, although I don't know many bassists with crowded pedal boards. That is the MXR M82 bass envelope filter. You've been watching GearWire.com. I'm Owen O'Malley. Thanks for checking us out.